get raised in this life Because they told us we was black when we really didn't realize And I don't wanna be no plug, that's all they talking about I don't wanna be no thug, that's all they talking about I don't wanna be no hitter, that's all they talking about all right, first of all, most want to give all praises to the Most High God. His name is Yahweh, who is the power of Israel and Israel only. We do that in the name of the Son of the Man, whom we call Jesus Christ. Real name Yahweh Shai, who is the King and Savior of Israel and Israel only. We the Hebrew Israelites in the Sakari City of San Francisco and call back the Black Hispanics and Native Americans back to repentance. Man. We also here teach prosperity to the Israelites in the downfall of this wicked, uh, wicked king of Babylon. So, uh, which one of you brothers had a question about the Sabbath? Oh, okay. Huh? Yeah. About washing? I mean, we will tell you, in the ancient world, that was that was actually a, a chore, right? You know what I'm saying? But the way that the things that are set up today with the washing machine, we say, we won't, I mean, we won't do it, you know what I mean? But the way of our ancestors, which it was which was an actual chore back in the days with no washing machine, they weren't doing that, you know what I mean? Do you, do, uh, do you keep the lunar Sabbath or the weekend Sabbath? Or the weekend Sabbath? Okay. I mean, look, I'm Uh-huh. Absolutely. Well, we up here, we, we keep what's called the lunar Sabbath, right? Because that's an ancient way of doing it, right? We believe that that's how our ancestors did it. And, uh, and we got precedent in, and we got precedent in the Bible how our ancestors kept it, right? What do you got? Go to Genesis. Genesis 1 and 14. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years so those those lights in the heavens which which are the sun moon and stars they were used to, to keep our clock you know what i'm saying we were used to we used it to tell times and everything right good man give me the words of sirach read the book of sirach chapter 43 verse 6 he made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of time and a sign of the world. From the moon is the sign of peace, a light that decreases in her perfection. Read that again. A light that decreases in her perfection. So the light decreases in her perfection, right? It decreases back to its perfection to its beginning. Right? Because even going back in Genesis, light came from darkness. You know what I'm saying? So we understand that the moon governs the night, the sun, right? For uh, for the daytime, for the hours and everything. And the moon is for the months. That's where the moon gets its that's where the month gets the name from. Keep reading. The month is called after her name. The month is called after her name, right? So the sun is for the daytime, measuring the day and the hours during the day. The moon for its month, right? The stars for its seasons, right? Give me that. Uh, uh, give me that account with John. With, uh, with, with Jonathan. Uh, Samuel, twenty and five. I'm just going to go real quick into the word for new moon. It says, uh, Kadash. It's drawings H 2320. It's, it's Kadash, right? Kadash. Kadash. It says the new moon, month, monthly, the lunar month. New moon. The month, the lunar month, the, new, the moon, right? So we, we, measure, uh, we measure our times, our months by the moon. But watch this account with J uh, with Jonathan and David, right? Read. God, this is First Samuel twenty and eighteen. And Jonathan said to David, "Tomorrow is the new moon." He said, "Tomorrow is the new moon." Read. And thou shalt be missed, because I seek 
will be empty. So he said, he's telling John, he's the, this is Jonathan telling David, right? He said, your, your, uh, tomorrow is the new moon, right? And your sheep will be empty because that's what he used to actually, because the Sabbath is also considered a feast, right? So this is where they were feasting with David, uh, Jonathan, and Saul, his father, right, Reed? And when thou hast stayed three days, then thou shalt go down quickly uh -huh. and come to the place where thou didst hide thyself. When, when the business was in hand, and shall remain by the stone Ezel. And I will shoot three arrows on the side of the rub, as though I shot at a mark. So right here, this is... So this is the account, right, when, uh, when, so when David, he was running from Saul, right? Like, he, Saul was already out to, uh, he, was, he was already scheming to kill him, right, Reed? Okay, Verse 21, and behold, I will send a lad saying, go find out the arrows. If I expressly say unto the lad, behold, the arrows are on this side of thee, take them. Then come thou, for there is peace to thee, and no, and no hurt as the Lord liveth. But if I say thus unto the young man, behold, the arrows are beyond thee, go thy way, for the Lord has sent thee away. And as touching the matter which thou and I have spoken of, behold, the Lord be between thee and me forever. So he, 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 he put into a covenant with David, with David, right? That he was going to do these things in case, of, in case of Solomon was going to kill him, right? Now go to the point. Verse 24, so David hid himself in the field, and when the new moon was come, so when the new moon was come, read, the king sat down, Salaki, the king sat him down to eat meat, and the king sat upon his seat. This is the Sabbath now, right? They were commemorating the Sabbath, read. Khan, as at other times, even upon a seat by the wall, and Jonathan arose, and Amner sat by Saul's side. And David's place was empty. David's place was empty because he was already running, read. Nevertheless, Saul spake not anything that day, for he thought something had befallen him. He is not clean, surely he is not clean. And it came to pass on the morning, which was the second day of the month. Now the morning, the next day was the second day of the month, read. And it came to pass on the morrow, which was the second day of the month, that David's place was empty. And Saul said unto Jonathan his son, Wherefore cometh not the son of Jesse to meet, neither yesterday nor today? And Jonathan answered Saul, David earnestly asked leave of me to go to Bethlehem. And he said, Let me go, I pray thee, for our family hath a sacrifice in the city. And my brother, he hath commanded me to be there. And now, if I have found favor in thine eyes, let me get away, I pray thee, and see my brethren. Therefore, he cometh not unto the king's table. Then Saul's anger was kindled against him. Okay, come on, verse 27. And it came to pass on the morrow, which was the second day of the month. So on the morrow, that's, just, that's the point right there, which is the second day of the month, right? So this is clear precedent that how the way of our ancestors is counted the days, right? After the new moons. Right, read. That David's place was empty, and Saul said unto Jonathan his son, Wherefore cometh not the son of Jesse to meet, neither yesterday nor today? So this is how we, this is how, yeah, how, uh, how our ancestors had counted the days and everything. So when the new moon comes in, that's the first day of the month, right? Seven days after is a month, uh, is a Sabbath, until the whole cycle comes up again, until the next new moon comes in, right? What do you got? What do you got? This is Ezekiel 
Ezekiel 46 and 1. Thus said the Lord God, the gate of the inner court that looketh toward the east shall be shut the six working days. So the gate will be shut on six working days, read. But on the Sabbath it shall be open, and in the day of the new moon it shall be open. So the Sabbath is the day of the new moon. Right, because it's, it's shut for six days, it's, it, the six working days until the uh, it, until the Sabbath or the new moon comes in, right? Exactly. So if it, like if there's no possible way, like say if the new moon comes in on the Thursday, you know what I mean? That still doesn't line up to what people would believe with the Sabbath today. See, you gotta understand that even the Romans they had uh, they had calendars. They had like three uh, three calendars. They had the the market calendar, the religious calendar, and the, and the everyday calendar, right? They have eight day weeks, five day weeks, seven day weeks, you know what I'm saying? So we don't even know what day today's Saturday is, or Friday, Friday, today's Friday or Saturday is, right? So that was just to answer your question about uh, about washing your clothes, and we just went into with a way how we believe what's the Sabbath because we found a president in there. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Kind of operation.